so good. What's going on guys, Alan here. Welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall morning here in Michigan. It is, I don't know, it's not morning anymore. It's 11 o'clock, um, but it's currently 70, breezy, and it's the fall breeze. It's not that humid, nasty August stuff. Um, so we got a big one on the channel here today one of my most exciting mods on the bmw so far and i got a bug that flew on my nose look at that <sighs> bugs aren't gone yet aside from the big changes i'm gonna make over the winter hopefully that'll be in an upcoming video um one of the things that bummed me out about the 2000 bmw here is that i'm i'm a sucker for daytime running lights dumb whatever but the halos that the bmws have um i'm just a sucker for them and i want them so what we're gonna do is put them on stay tuned all right guys so you can do your research um all you want the bmw z3 headlights are specific um and there's websites out there that offer them for a hundred and some dollars um i went the ebay route because that's what i do and i got these for less than half what um are offered at other websites and they're the same thing same exact thing guys i'm telling you but i only had to wait 10 days i mean call it luck or whatever but they made customs in like two days and it was just crazy i got them super fast so we're gonna we're gonna try and get them on here. So um, let's let's check out and see what's in the box first. So you have the relay wiring kit. And then you have some splice connectors here. And then you have the halo rings themselves. And these are LED. You can get um, uh, fluorescent. You can get fluorescent, but I don't like fluorescent. LEDs last a long time, so. There they are. So two different sizes. These are the, I believe the big ones. Uh, and then the small halo rings are on the other side. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna test these out. We're gonna hook them up, test them out, make sure they work. So let's do that next. Well, the way this is supposed to be wired is you have your 12 volt constant um, to your fuse. You've got your ground and then your white wire here is your um, accessory wire or however you wanna wire it up what i'm going to do is i'm going to wire it to the ignition so when the ignition is on because this is a manual um the daytime running lights will be on if it was anything else i'd hook it up to you know if it was an automatic i'd hook it up to when it was in drive they'd be on but easy way so right now i just got them sitting i don't have them permanently mounted i'm just testing these out so here are the big ones and you can tell headlights on the outside um the low beams are much bigger than the high beams so that's the difference so i'm just going to touch the terminal with this and see if they work look at that guys oh my gosh killer that is going to look sick guys okay they work now is the hard part Got to open up these headlights. Ugh. Got to open the headlights and mount these bad boys. So we'll see how hard this is going to be. Because this is the newer headlight. This one's been in an accident. This is the original headlight. This is the newer headlight. You got little clips, retaining clips here. Um, <laughs> then you just got to, uh, from what I've seen, heat it up with a heat gun and take it off the lens. Um, some like E39s I've seen where they just you know, unclip them and it pulls right off. It's sweet, but I can't be that lucky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unbolt the headlights here, take it out, and then work on it. Time lapse time. Okay, guys, I lied. Before the time lapse, I want to show you. Um, there's a couple, four 8 mils that I see so far. Straight down there, here, here and straight down there. Um, if there's any more, I will show you.
right, next, retaining clips all the way around this bad boy. And then um, we're gonna see how difficult it is to pry, pry it off. All right, so I got one success here. Um, I heated up the entire um, edge of the light, the lens, and then uh, took a lot of, <laughs> a lot of time to pry that really sticky glue apart. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it back together. Probably same thing, heat it up, smash it back together and hope for the best. But here's the inside, here's the inside look. Um, these are just covers, you know what I mean, that come out. Um, this pulls right out here. Both sides are like that. And then you put it back in with one hand, because that's fun. Fits back in there like that. Same thing with this one. This one comes out too. Um, but here's the inside one. You can see each side is different. It's cut out here um, to make it a little smaller. And then on this side, it goes like this. Now, if you can see, it's significantly smaller than the ring. Let me get a better angle at that. Um, you can kind of even it out to make it not so bad all the way around. Um, but, all in all, it is, it is smaller, so that's going to be a little different. Um, but I'm going to test fit these and put the lens on to make sure nothing hits. Because um, I'm worried about this one, actually being down here a little too far, um, but I'll test fit them right now. Update for you. I wanna make this as do-it-yourself instructional for anybody who wants to do this as possible, so I need to stop. Um, another fun time, I was trying to figure out how to route the wires. Most people just bring them out here over the edge. I don't wanna do that. You're gonna, you're gonna pinch them in there. So I had a fun time fishing them back through the reflective housing there and then on the back there are these rubber boots that seal where the headlight bulbs go um, so you can see I fished them through there and then I'll put the boots back on and hopefully it will seal just fine um, but now let's try and get the these things stuck onto the lenses So they give you four sets of these adhesive pads. Um, so this, there's eight stickies and they'll go on one of these halos. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up the lens with some isopropyl alcohol um, and then get these on there. And I'm gonna start with that one because I finally got that one situated and then we'll do that one. Okay, I got all the pads on there ready to go so let's see uh let's see how bad i can mess this up okay so this is what i'm talking about it's not the right size but it has to be this small to be able to fit because the lens comes down to here and then here. So this is the only way you can make the Z3 work. Unless you did like a just LEDs here and here or made them flat. I don't know. Either way, this is the easiest probably way they could make the kit. So this is what I'm doing. Um, but she'll look fire once it's done. Trust me finished up the mounting and they come right through the back of the boot just like that should seal them up real nice so I just set the cover back on or the lens back on um, and of course the glue is all hard so I think what I'm gonna do now is take the heat gun to the outside um, and then slowly push push it in
And there you guys go. She is back together. I just started it, heated it up, pushed it together until it was all together enough to where I could put these retaining clips back on. And now I know why they're there. Because now they're going to hold it there while all that sealant dries. Um, yeah. So I put the bulbs back in the back. And this is how they look now. Um, I mean, just walking up to this thing, you're not going to be able to tell unless you know what you're looking for. Now, yeah, I can see my sticks. Stickers down there. That's bugging me. But I'm going to be the only one to notice this. It's not going to be a show car anyway. I just want it to look cool going on the road. Time to put this one back in. Okay, another update. Headlight is in, aimed. I got the plugs tied up here. Uh, now I get to do that side. It's it's not fun. It's not hard. It's more tedious than anything, and it takes forever. But here we go for you guys. Update. We are done with the actual install inside the headlights um now it's the wiring so i'm going to tuck everything as nice as i can with the stock loom um then run it over and tie her in and i'll give you an update then okay guys i got it done and wired up biggest con on this kit is they don't give you enough wire to properly tuck it all the way around um you can tuck the one side and then when you get to the other side, I just didn't have enough room. I wanted to go on the other side of the shock tower. But unfortunately, I had to come down here. So that'll work for now. Um, but then in your fuse box, pick something that's accessories for your uh, ignition wire. And the white wire, I just cut right off because it said, the direction said that it was an optional controller that you could use from the inside of the car. I don't want that. Cut it off. Use the red ignition wire in here to the accessories so you guys ready for me to show you this there they are guys and they look better than i could have imagined so when you put into perspective that the halos are smaller than the headlight lenses themselves right here you don't see that you see just lots of goodness i love this guys love this love it oh my god oh my gosh so happy so so happy with this <sighs> guys this took me long long time um i don't know how long the ebay seller will have this particular item online but i will put the link in the description below um this took me i'm betting you it took me all together four hours um you know i stopped for lunch and stuff like that um probably uh, probably if i would have done this straight three and a half hours um so Make sure you give yourself some time. The most time consuming part are the headlights themselves and the lenses, just a pain in the butt. But like I said, well worth it. I mean, look at this. So good. So good. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this content. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it'll take for you to do the same thing some are easier some are harder i'm gonna guess mine was in between till we meet again guys later